Elite Facts presents 10 of the greatest prison escapes of all time. 10. May's Prison Escape Said to be the biggest prison escape in British history, in September of 1983 in County Antrim, Northern Ireland, nearly 40 Irish Republican Army prisoners who had been convicted of offenses including murder and terrorist attacks escaped from their cell block in the prison. One prison officer died of a heart attack as a result of the escape and 20 suffered injuries. Before the escape, it was reported that HM Prison Maze was considered one of the most escape-proof prisons in Europe. In addition to 15-foot fences, each H-block was surrounded by an 18-foot concrete wall topped with barbed wire, and all gates on the complex were made of solid steel and electronically operated. Shortly after 2.30 p.m., the prisoners took control of the H-block, holding the prison guards hostage at gunpoint. Some of the prisoners took the guards' clothing and car keys in order to help with their escape. At 3.25 p.m., a truck bringing food supplies arrived, and the prisoners told the driver that he was going to help them escape. They tied his foot to the clutch and told him where to drive. At 3.50 p.m., the truck left the H-block and soon after the prison, carrying all 38 men. Over the next few days, 19 escapees were caught. The remaining escapees were assisted by the IRA in finding better hiding places. 9. John Connolly Unit, The Texas Seven In December of 2000, a group by the name of The Texas Seven escaped from the John Connolly Unit near Kennedy, Texas. The group carried out an elaborate scheme and escaped from the maximum security prison using several well-planned ploys. The seven convicts overpowered and restrained nine civilian maintenance supervisors, four correctional officers, and three uninvolved inmates at approximately 11.20 a.m. Most of these plans involved one of the offenders calling someone over, while another hit the unsuspecting person on the head from behind. Once the victim was subdued, the offenders would remove some of his clothing, tie him up, gag him, and place him in an electrical room behind a locked door. The attackers stole clothing, credit cards, and identification from their victims. The group also impersonated prison officers on the phone and created false stories to ward off suspicion from authorities. They eventually made their way to the prison maintenance pickup truck, which they used to escape from the prison grounds. The group was apprehended on January 21, 2001, over a month after their escape, thanks to a broadcast of the TV show America's Most Wanted. The five remaining living members of the group are all on death row, awaiting death by lethal injection. Of the other two, one committed suicide and one has already been executed. 8. Libby Prison Escape The Libby Prison Escape was one of the most successful prison breaks during the American Civil War. Overnight in February of 1864, over 100 imprisoned Union soldiers escaped the prison base in Richmond, Virginia. 59 of the 109 escapees succeeded in reaching Union lines. The other 50 were either captured or drowned in the nearby James River. Libby Prison wasn't large by today's standards. However, back then it was so large that it covered an entire city block in Richmond. The prison itself stood three stories above ground with a basement exposed on the riverside. Living conditions were horrendous as you'd expect during that time period and the food was very scarce, and some prisoners were very lucky to get any scraps at all. The prisoners managed to break into the basement area known as Rat Hell, which was no longer used due to the rat infestations, and they started digging a tunnel. After 17 days of digging, they succeeded in breaking through to a 50-foot vacant lot on the eastern side of the prison, resurfacing beneath a tobacco shed inside the grounds of the nearby Cares warehouse. When Colonel Rose finally broke through to the other side, he told his men that the, quote, underground railroad to God's country is open. The officers escaped the prison in groups of two and three on the night of February 9, 1864. Once within the tobacco shed, they collected themselves before simply walking straight out the front gate. 7. Colditz Castle Yet another prisoner of war camp is on the list, and for good reason. Kolditz was one of the most famous German army prison camps during World War II. The camp itself was located in Kolditz Castle, situated on a cliff overlooking the town of Kolditz. There were numerous successful attempts at escaping Kolditz, but one in particular stands out above all the others. In one of the most ambitious escape attempts from Kolditz, the idea of building a glider was dreamt up by two British pilots, Jack Best and Bill Goldfinch. 
who had been imprisoned in Kolditz after escaping from a completely different POW camp. The plan was to construct a two-man glider. The glider was assembled by Goldfinch and Best in the lower attic above the chapel and was to be launched from the roof in order to fly across the River Mold, which was about 200 feet or 60 meters below them. The officers who took part in the project built a false wall to hide the secret space in the attic where they slowly built the glider out of stolen pieces of wood. Since the Germans were accustomed to looking down for tunnels and not up for secret workshops, they felt rather safe from detection. Needless to say, they were able to escape in what is now described as the most ambitious way to escape a prison. 6. Pascal Payette Grass Prison So we think this guy deserves an award for being the most sly and most successful escape artist, because not only did he escape this prison once, but twice. Now what's so special about that, you might ask? Well, he hijacked a helicopter on both occasions. He also helped organize an escape of three other prisoners by using a helicopter. Payette was initially sentenced to a 30-year jail term for a murder committed during the robbery of a security van. After his first escape in 2001, he was captured and given seven more years for his role in the 2003 escape. He then escaped from Grass Prison using a helicopter that was hijacked from an airport by four masked men. Criminal or not, that is impressive. 5. Choi Gap Bok Squeezed Through a Food Slot Choi Gap Bok was arrested on suspicion of robbery in South Korea on September 12, 2012. It only took five days for Bok to devise a plan as he asked guards to bring him his special cream. Once obtaining this special cream, he coated the upper part of his body and waited for the guards to fall asleep. After they were asleep, he squeezed through the 6-inch tall by 18-inch wide food slot at the bottom of his cell in 34 seconds and escaped. After a nationwide manhunt, he was captured six days later and put into a cell with a smaller food slot to foil any further attempts to escape. 4. Auschwitz Auschwitz was essentially deemed impossible to escape from, as most prisoners were executed before they got the chance to make a run for it. However, there was one recorded attempt that was successful. Jewish prisoner Alfred Wetzler, along with a few of his friends, climbed into hollowed boards that were going to be used to build more housing for new arrivals. His accomplices then placed boards around the two and sprinkled the ground around the wood with Russian tobacco soaked in gasoline to keep the dogs from locating them. The two hid for four nights before donning Dutch suits, overcoats, and boots they had stolen from the camp and headed for the Polish border, using a page from a child's atlas as reference. The story is just incredible. 3. Imrali Island and the Midnight Express In 1970, Billy Hayes, a 23-year-old New York college student, was caught attempting to smuggle marijuana out of Turkey. He was sentenced to just over four years in prison and was eventually transferred to Imrali Island in the Bosphorus Strait. He served his sentence almost to its end, however, just weeks before his sentence was up, it was extended by 30 years for no reason whatsoever. Refusing to spend the rest of his life in prison, Hayes, who was given a job on the docks, escaped in a rowboat in 1975. He made his way to Istanbul and, when he could not secure a hideout, dyed his hair and made his way to Greece, where he was eventually deported to the U.S. in 1977. Can you honestly blame him? 2. Alcatraz Probably the most famous prison in history, Alcatraz Prison was notorious for escape attempts. During its 29-year operation, there were 14 escape attempts involving 34 inmates. Officially, every escape attempt failed, and most participants were either killed or quickly recaptured. However, the most famous and intricate attempt to escape from Alcatraz was in June of 1962, when Frank Morris and the Anglin brothers burrowed out of their cells, climbed to the top of the cell block, and cut through bars to make it to the roof via an air vent. From there, they climbed down a drain pipe over a chain-link fence and then to the shore, where they assembled a pontoon-type raft and then vanished. The trio are believed to have drowned in the San Francisco Bay and are officially listed as missing and presumed drowned. However, there's no evidence whatsoever signifying their deaths. 1. The Great Escape In 1944, one of the greatest escapes from any prison and POW camp took place as an incredible 76 soldiers escaped by creating three separate 30-foot-long tunnels under the Stalag Luft III German prison. 
They used construction methods like wood blocks for support, a series of lamps, and even pumps to make sure the soldiers had air to breathe while they dug. Despite their preparation, though, the soldiers ended the tunnel just short of the forest, in plain sight of the guards outside of the gates. While 76 managed to escape, the 77th was spotted, which started a massive manhunt where all but three of the escapees were caught. This prison escape was incredible and is considered the most successful escape in history. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts. Thank you.